Could Judd Nelson have saved two and a half men? The answer next. Today on Comics and Pop Culture Let's Talk, we're going to compare the Charlie Sheen era of two and a half men to the Ashton Kutcher era. Stay tuned. Two and a Half Men is an American television sitcom that originally aired on CBS for 12 seasons from September 22, 2003, to February 19, 2015. What's going on? Well, for the last couple of years, I've been trying really hard to have a meaningful relationship. Originally starring Charlie Sheen, John Cryer, and Angus T. Jones, the series was about a hedonistic jingle writer, Charlie Harper, his uptight brother, Alan, and Alan's mischievous son, Jake. As Alan's marriage falls apart and divorce appears imminent, he and Jake move into Charlie's beachfront Malibu house and complicate Charlie's freewheeling life. In 2010, CBS and Warner Brothers Television reached a multi-year broadcasting agreement for the series, renewing it through at least the 2011-12 season. In February 2011, however, CBS and Warner Brothers decided to end production for the rest of the eighth season after Sheen entered drug rehabilitation and made disparaging comments about the series creator and executive producer, Chuck Lorre. If sad and stupid had a foul odor attached, it would be you, Bory. You gotta hate that your stage name rhymes with suck. Personally, I find it perfect. Suck and muck. You picked a fight with a warlock, you little worm. I'm Charlie's brother, Alan. I want to thank you all for coming. I know this is a, a very sad day for all of us. Speak for yourself. O okay. Uh, I understand that uh, some of you have mixed feelings. Sheen's contract was terminated the following month, and he was written out of the show after it was confirmed that he would not be returning to the series. Berta, you got any pot brownies? Until they cure glaucoma. <laughs> Thanks. Ashton Kutcher was hired to replace him the following season as Walden Schmidt, a billionaire who buys Charlie's house after his death. In April 2013, CBS renewed the series for an 11th season after closing one-year deals with Kutcher and Cryer. Jones, who was attending college, was relegated to recurring status but did not make an appearance until the series finale. He was replaced by Jenny played by Amber Tamblin, Charlie's previously unknown daughter. In March 2014, CBS renewed the series for a 12th season, which was later announced to be the series' last. The season began airing in October 2014 and concluded in February 2015 with the 40-minute series finale Of Course He's Dead. The success of the series led to it being the third-highest revenue-generating program for 2012, earning $3.24 million an episode. See, I'm not so pessimistic. I'm hoping someday he and I can be buddies. <laughs> Who won the ratings war, Sheen or Kutcher? The Sheenless premiere of Two and a Half Men in Season 9 delivered eyeballs. Nearly 28 million people tuned in to catch Ashton Kutcher's debut as internet billionaire Walden Schmidt in the CBS show's revamped version. That's nearly 90% jump from the previous season's premiere episode, which had 14.6 million total viewers. Though the show has always been a ratings juggernaut Sheen has never delivered those numbers. His highest rated men show came in the second season when over 24 million people tuned into the show's May 16, 2005 episode. And, by the end of the last season, amidst Sheen's high-profile meltdown, which resulted in his firing from the show, viewers seem to have soured. Season 8's finale, Sheen's final show for the series, tied a season low with 14.5 million tuning in. After Kutcher's initial ratings jump, however, the show quickly went downhill. This isn't unusual with a show that lasted as long as this one has. Its final season ranked at number 23 in the ratings, down from the ninth season rank of number 11. Charlie Sheen went on to further success with Anger Management, a loose adaptation of the Jack Nicholson film of the same name. You can't fire me. I quit. Think you can replace me with some other guy? Go ahead. It won't be the same. You may think I'm losing, but I'm not. I'm... Anyway, you get the idea. The series received 5.74 million viewers in its debut, breaking the record as the most-watched sitcom premiere in U.S. cable television history. On November 7, 2014, FX announced that the series would end after its 100th episode. Now I want to discuss the direction I believe two and a half men should have taken after Charlie Sheen's departure. Instead of some billionaire washing up on the beach, I think they should have moved Judd Nelson's character of Chris, 
who was the ex-husband of Courtney Thornsmith's character of Lindsay, into the Malibu house. Chris already had tension with Alan as they were both interested in Lindsay. Imagine if they had been forced to live in the same house and both were interested in the same woman. There would have been a lot of friction for the two actors to play off of and it would have given them a unique dynamic that Ashton Kutcher never had with John Cryer. I think it would have been a more successful show, all things considered, and may have lasted a season or two longer. That's my look at two and a half men. What do you think? Did you prefer the Charlie Sheen era or the Ashton Kutcher era? Do you think Judd Nelson would have made a good regular on the show or are you happy with the appearance that he made? Let me know in the comments below and, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and check out my Carl Vincent Vampire Hunter franchise in the comments section below. Until next time, this is Kevin Gibbon saying live long and prosper, may the force be with you and keep reaching for the stars.